Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my June Ipsy bag unbagging. I haven't done an Ipsy bag video on my YouTube in a little bit, so I decided to go ahead and do one this month, and the products in my bag were actually really good, so let's just get right into it. This is what the bag looks like this month. Honestly, I'm not a super huge fan of the actual bag itself. I mean, it's cute, but it's not my style. And here's the card that comes with it. The theme this month is volume up, and like, sorry, can't hear you. It's all about speaking up and not keeping your mouth shut, which I guess fits me perfectly. If you can't tell, I am missing my eyebrows because the first product in this bag is the City Color Bold Brow. This is an eyebrow powder and it opens up and it has a brush and two colors. You're supposed to be able to like mix and match to make a good shade for your brows. I'm definitely not going to be using this little brush. I'm going to be using the Anastasia Angled Brush. People use brow powders in different ways. Some people use it just by itself. Some people use it to set whatever brow pencil or brow pomade that they're using. Just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna try to use it by itself. I haven't really ever used a brow powder, so I'm a little bit nervous. I'm gonna start out with the lighter shade for the inner part of the brow because I don't wanna go in super bold and dark. Okay, so, so far it's not bad. I'm interested to see how it's gonna fill in like these areas where I don't have as much hair because that's where I usually need a dark brow pencil. So I'm gonna mix a little bit of the darker brow shade in with the lighter one. Okay, actually it's not bad at all. So I know it's totally cringy to say this, but I am shook by this brow powder right now. And I'm also pretty sure City Color is like a really cheap brand. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the second brow and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am really impressed with this product right now. I did not expect it to be pigmented enough to like fill in the areas where I don't have any hairs. I think the next test is gonna be just how long they actually last throughout the day, which my friend Isabel got the same product in her Ipsy bag and she says that her brows last all day with this and if mine end up lasting all day too this is gonna be my new go-to product because a big pro of powder brow products is they're gonna last you so long because you need so little product okay next up I got two sheet masks I already used one of them the green tea detox because my skin has been like acting up lately because I haven't been taking care of it so kind of my fault but I wanted to use this to kind of help detox and calm my skin down the quality of the actual sheet masks is really nice it's not like a cheap flimsy product. They have vitamin E oil and like green tea extract and antioxidants. They're paraben free, cruelty free, so it's actually a great brand and like a good product. The second sheet mask that I haven't tried yet is a aloe rescue one and it's great for after sun which is perfect for summer right now because I'm sure at one point I'm gonna burn my face. So it helps soothe like dry skin that has been out in the sun. I'm super excited that I got sheet masks in this bag because I love sheet masks. I don't like regular masks as much. I don't like having to wash off the product. I just love how easy sheet masks are. Next up I got this NYX whipped product. This is in the shade Pink Cloud and this can be used on lips or cheeks so I'm gonna go ahead and use it on both today. First I'm gonna try it on the lip. It's definitely more subtle in pigment, which I guess is good since it's used on the cheeks as well. For the cheeks, I'm just gonna apply some on my hand first, and I'm gonna apply it with a sponge. It's not bad. It's a nice little flush of color. I feel like these kind of products are great for the no makeup makeup days where it's more subtle and natural looking. I love using cream blushes and like cream bronzers for those kind of days. And it does feel comfortable on the lips as well. It definitely doesn't like dry down like a matte liquid lipstick or anything like that. It's just a cream. So it's not transfer proof. And then I got another blush. This is from the brand The Balm and it's the color in full swing. It's a pretty color and they definitely amped up the pan size. It used to be like the size of a pinky fingernail. But to be honest, I'm kind of tired of getting blushes in my bag. I feel like I get a blush every month. So this month when I did my ratings for the products, I did rate the blush a little bit lower just to see if it'll help me get less blush in the future. So we'll see. I'm just gonna coat my brush and tap it off. 
I mean, I guess I already have blush on, so like this is gonna be a really rosy day. Last but not least, I got this Scone Liquid Eyeliner. This is called Insanely Intense Tattooed Waterproof Liner. It has a felt tip pen like that, which I don't mind, and it is in the color black. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in and see how it applies. Okay, so I'm done with my eyeliner. I did switch up my lip a little bit because I felt like there was too much pink going on. The eyeliner went on really smooth. It didn't skip. It wasn't dry and it wasn't too liquidy at the same time. Like there's a lot of control. So since I want to test out how long wearing my eyebrow and my eyeliner stuff is, I am going to head to work and then I'm going to come back and check in with you guys in like six hours. So I will see you guys then. Okay guys, I am back. It is now 7.30 and and I've had this makeup on for about seven and a half hours, even almost eight actually. I am wearing something different. I dressed in a different dress for work and I have touched up some powder and bronzer and highlight on my face, but I haven't touched up any of the products that I used from my Ipsy bag. First off, I wanna point out how well my eyebrows have lasted. It has blown my mind that powder could last this long. I'm sure if I like actually swiped, it would come off easier, but even then it seems like it's staying on pretty well. So I looked it up and this little duo is $6 at Walmart, which is incredible. I'm super excited that this worked out for me because I'm literally going to use this all the time now. I'm also excited that powder products run out way slower because I'm always running out of my NYX micro brow pencil and it's going to be really cool to have an alternative that actually works and makes my brows look the way I like them to. The blush I also didn't touch up. I'm not sure if it was the cream one or the powder one that lasted so long, but it has stayed very well throughout the day. I'm gonna have to test out again and see which one of these is the one that lasts long. I gotta say I'm not a big fan of this on the lips. I don't know if it's just the color or what, but I do like the NYX matte lip creams. I just wasn't a big fan of this one. The eyeliner I haven't touched up either. It has stayed put all day. It hasn't rubbed off or anything. It literally stays on amazing. I really think that this might be a dupe for the Kat Von D tattoo eyeliner. Eyeliner. So the Kat Von D one is $20 and it looks like on the Scone website this one used to be $20 but it's $15 now on sale. So I'm actually surprised that there's such a small difference in the price. And it's also crazy that this is a full size product and it costs more than the entire Ipsy bag. So just with these three products it's already worth $26. Not to mention the two sheet masks and a sample size blush. So I'm guessing that this month's bag was worth like like 30 plus dollars for 10 bucks. So to sum up, the only thing I wasn't a huge fan of was this NYX product, but everything else I feel like was amazing. Once again, really satisfied with my bag from Ipsy this month. I was also thinking recently to maybe do a video where I go over all the products that I still use that I got in previous Ipsy bags, because sometimes some of the stuff just like lays around and you never end up using it, but some of these products that I've gotten over like the past year, I still do use all the time. So let me know if that would be an interesting video for you guys. Well, I think that is all I have for this video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!